my video for May the 10th, 2019 is video number 3081. The title is Reflections, Old Picks, Flawless Skin. Yes, I've been in a very reflective mood since the death of the, that man that someone thought was me. I did not die, at least not physically. Still, I keep wondering if my mission will ever be completed while I am still alive. Oh yes, I know some say that this life is not real, that the real life is the one on the other side of the veil. That thought does not bring peace. To me, it means this life is meaningless. I keep wrestling with that every time I go into my prayer and meditation mode. Earlier, I went back and looked at old photos of me, even posting one taken when I was just a boy. I had flawless skin. Later pics when I was in the army and when I was in my 20s did not show the defects I see now. A friend asked me this past Monday what was wrong with my face. I now battle acne that I did not have when I was younger. What changed? Well, for one thing, I had two open heart surgeries and received blood transfusions. Does that mean I got some of the same symptoms my donors may have had? I don't know. I'm not sure how anything works anymore. Is this clearing the slate for a new phase in my life? I feel as if I may be on the edge of something, but I'm not sure what it may be. <laughs> yeah, I've been very reflective, very pensive uh, this entire week, actually. Uh, this is Thursday already. And, uh, you know, I, I went back and looked at other pictures that I posted now two pictures on Facebook, by the way, be, before I recording this video. But here's a picture of me when I was even younger than the one that I posted. Probably, I'm, I'm guessing, maybe two years old. I'm not sure. I know my mom loved my curly hair when I was just a kid. and She always fixed the curls up. They when I got haircuts and stuff, it never stayed curly like my sons did. But here's a picture of me when I was in the army. And as you can see, a fairly clear complexion. And I'm wondering, what happened to my face? Why do I have all these blemishes? Why do I continually get pimples? <laughs> and I'm 72 years old. I thought acne was something that happened when we were little. Well, obviously, for me, it's happening uh, in the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years maybe. You know, I, how long ago was it that I had my first surgery? Over 10 years ago. Yeah, anyway, it is what it is, and not much I can do about it. Uh, I try to take care of myself as best I can. I've changed a lot of things in my diet. Uh, I still like ice cream, <laughs> and uh, that perhaps is a weakness. <laughs> uh, but I don't drink milk. In fact, I don't drink hardly anything except water and uh, orange juice once in a while. <laughs> and I've I've tried to keep things in order as best I can. But boy, is my mind just traveling in the what if realm what if i die i've often said if i die and i don't finish my mission i'm punching god in the face because all of my life i have felt that i was here to help bring the kingdom of heaven to earth no not me alone i keep saying that but it's true i'm not the only one i believe that changes are happening but they're not happening quickly enough, or are they? I don't know how much longer I have. The man that, that I thought had died initially, <clears throat> when I talked to him the other day, uh, he stopped taking <clears throat> his blood pressure and having it checked. He doesn't, you know, it is what it is. It's high. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Mine is not, you know, yeah, mine tends to 
when I get excited and stuff like that, it goes up, but I think that's normal. When I'm rested, my blood pressure is in a relatively normal range. So I, I don't know what the state of my health is. I know I was battling with the numbness of feet and somebody suggested that I uh, spray the uh, magnesium oil on my feet. And I started doing that for a number of days. And then my feet started itching like crazy. And even though I now have the last couple of days, I stopped doing the magnesium oil, the itching is crazy. And it's, of course, worse when I'm trying to go to sleep, which is why it takes me an hour or more to fall asleep when I go to bed. Uh, but it wasn't always itching feet. It was restless mind <laughs> that often kept me awake because I spend a lot of time reflecting on things. I spend a lot of time asking myself what I can do different, what I could have done different even. I reflect, you know, I can't fix the past, but I'd like to have a, a brighter future. And the brighter future has always been actually seeing the kingdom of heaven begin to manifest on earth. And when I see that happening, then I feel, well, I've, I fulfilled my purpose. I've at least gotten to see what I, what I wanted to see all of my life. Will that happen? I really don't know. As I said, I'm, I'm reflecting. And life would be meaningless to me if I live this far and then just die and don't get to see the culmination of any of the visions that I've had since I was little. Yeah, some of the pictures go back that far that I just showed you, and I was always, always focused on spiritual things throughout my life, uh, which may be why I had turned a lot of people off, because not many people had the same focus as I do. That's the way it is. Anyway, I, I'm not going to ramble any further. Uh, I do appreciate those of you that take time to actually listen to my videos. Sometimes uh, I get likes on videos that I've only posted a couple of minutes ago, and already there's likes, which means they didn't watch the video <laughs> or listen or whatever. Anyway, folks. Uh, thanks again for those of you that have hung in there with me all this time. Namaste.